In this video we'll cover how to set up and use your Portobello ice cream machine. Once you've placed your machine in your desired location, it's time to power it up. Ensure the bin cover and drawer are closed before turning the machine on. Start off by locating the power switch at the rear of the machine. Remove the protective cover to gain access to the switch. Press it once to turn the machine on. Power on can be identified by the eye symbol on the switch. Allow the machine to start up. Calibration may take up to two minutes during the first startup. Once the machine is operational, the light around the button will turn from blue to white. You're now ready to create your first ice cream. With the Portobello, you can serve a range of delicious Italian gelato, vegan sorbet, and natural frozen yogurt, all at the push of a button. Our creamy Italian gelatos come in three flavors, chocolate, salted caramel, and vanilla. Our fruity vegan-friendly sorbet come in two flavors, mango and strawberry. And finally, our original recipe natural frozen yogurt. Each pod is a perfectly sized 160 milliliter portion, with a lid on the top and a seal sticker on the bottom. The seal sticker should be removed before the product is dispensed. The top lid should never be removed, doing so will damage the Portobello machine. Once your Portobello is switched on and operational, you can begin to make an ice cream. First off, pick a pod from the freezer. Remove the sticker at the base of the pod. Remember, never remove the lid from the top of the pod. Pull the handle towards you to open the drawer. Make sure it is fully extended. Place the pod inside. Be sure to check that the pod sits correctly inside the drawer. Push the handle to close. The ring light will illuminate green, indicating that there is a pod inside the machine and it is ready to dispense. Place a cup into the cup holder. The sensors above the dispense area will automatically recognize the cup. The product will not be dispensed without a cup in place. Gently press the button to start the process. The ring light will illuminate with rainbow colors, indicating that a dispense is in progress. A dispense should take around 10 seconds. Remove the cup from the holder and serve. Once the product has dispensed, allow the machine 10 seconds to reset. Once calibration is complete, open and close the drawer to recycle the pod, or place another pod in for the next dispense. Be sure to extend the drawer fully to recycle correctly. The Portobello has been designed to make cleaning simple. You can find cleaning instructions inside the user manual, and also on the inside of your bin chute cover. Start off by removing the drawer. Open the drawer fully, and locate the two release pins. Using both index fingers, push down on the pins and pull the drawer towards you, removing it gently from the machine. Wash the drawer gently in warm soapy water, removing any product residue with a soft cloth. Thoroughly dry the drawer and leave to one side. Using soapy water, clean inside the machine with a soft cloth. Clean the rails, bottom of the plunger and lower metal plate. Be sure to clean any residue that may be on the sensor. Thoroughly dry inside the machine, using a clean cloth. Reinsert the drawer into the machine to finish. Remove the upper drip tray and cup holder, and place to one side. Remove the lower drip tray, by applying gentle pressure from the rear, and pulling towards you. Using warm soapy water, wipe around the dispense area, using a soft cloth. Wash the cup holder, upper drip tray, and lower drip tray, ensuring all product residue has been removed. Thoroughly dry the parts using a clean cloth.
and reassemble the dispense area. The Portobello bin shoot tube can hold 12 pods before it requires emptying. Once the bin is full, the ring light around the button will illuminate orange, and the OLED will display a bin full message. Remove the bin cover by pulling the handle on the rear, and gently pulling up to slide it out. Slightly open the front drawer, this will allow easier access to the bin shoot tube. Remove the bin shoot tube from the machine and empty the used pods into a bin. The pods are 100% recyclable and can be recycled locally. Unscrew the bin shoot tube end cap. Using warm soapy water, thoroughly clean the end cap, removing any product residue with a soft cloth. Clean thoroughly inside the bin shoot tube. Rinse off and dry the parts using a clean cloth. Reassemble by placing the bin shoot tube into the machine, ensuring it is seated correctly. Close the drawer and slide the bin cover back into position until it clicks into place. Be sure to align both corners of the bin shoot cover, as this will make it easier to slide on. Keep your portobello sparkling like new, with a quick daily wipe down. Using soapy water, and a soft cloth, gently wipe the dome and all exterior parts. Avoid using any abrasive materials, as these will damage the surface of the machine. Thoroughly dry using a clean cloth. Gently polish the chrome finishes, front panel, and button parts. Avoid using harsh chemicals on the chrome finish and the portobello exterior. Remember, a simple 5-minute daily clean can keep your portobello functioning correctly and looking great. Every portobello comes complete with a branded freezer, specially designed to ensure the product is kept at the perfect serving temperature of minus 14 degrees. The freezer is factory set to the correct temperature, in the unlikely case the temperature rises or falls from minus 14 degrees, please contact our customer service team. It is perfectly normal for the freezer to drop in temperature after the door is opened, during restocking, or when multiple servings are being completed. If the freezer temperature does not return to minus 14 degrees within one hour of being plugged in, please contact our customer service team. Pods are delivered in cases of 18 units, these boxes are roughly the size of a shoe box, and therefore take up minimal space in your frozen storage area. We recommend stocking your freezer with one case of each flavor, that's 6 cases of product, and 108 pods in total. The maximum capacity of the freezer is 7 cases of product, which is 126 pods. Do not overload the freezer as this will restrict airflow inside the unit and may compromise the product. The maximum fill line is visible at the top of the freezer. If you choose to relocate your equipment after installation, please take extra care when moving the freezer. When moving, please don't push or grab the door, top panel, or rear panel, as this will cause damage to the freezer. Our freezer is fitted with rollers instead of legs on the rear of the unit, this allows it to be moved easily. To move the freezer, gently lift the unit from the front to tilt it onto the rear wheels. Slowly push the unit into your desired position. When relocating your freezer, be sure to allow a minimum of 5 cm around all sides to provide adequate air circulation. Keep your freezer door closed when not serving, and avoid placing the freezer in direct sunlight as this could result in the temperature rising. When loading stock into your freezer, store your pods with the sticker facing down. To maximize space and efficiency, we recommend loading the freezer according to our suggested layout. 
You can store additional pod stock in your backup freezer at minus 18 degrees or below. When you need them, simply transfer to our branded freezer six hours before serving. If possible, restock your freezer in the evening, ready for the next day. Avoid dispensing a pod which has not yet risen to the correct temperature of minus 14 degrees. The machine will not dispense and will display a red warning or show a too cold message. To check the freezer temperature, press and hold the P button until the yellow lock symbol disappears. The lock symbol indicates the freezer display is locked. Once this is off, you are free to adjust the freezer systems. Press the P button once to access the temperature menu. You will now see the current temperature setting. In this case we can see the freezer is correctly set at minus 14 degrees. After two minutes of inactivity the freezer panel will automatically lock. An OP error will show on the display if the door has been left open, or if not sealed correctly. When opening the freezer door, avoid leaning or placing weight directly onto the door. This can cause damage to the hinge, and the door may start to sag. The door microswitch may not activate properly if the door sags. This will cause the freezer to not seal properly, and it will be unable to hold its temperature. If the freezer displays OP while closed, please call our customer service team immediately. Need some help? Contact our customer service team on 0207 247 0777 or email us at support at